There it is. Hey y'all, Dekumon here, and welcome to Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. This is a rare moment for me. It's not often that I get to dip my toes into a brand new series. Heck, a brand new genre. Like, I can't think of a single mech combat game I've ever played before. I mean, maybe I played one for five minutes or so when I was a kid, but to me, Armored Core was always just this unbreachable thing I saw on, you know, I was just browsing the shelves of my local rental store, you know, back in the day when those existed, that was fun. <laughs> oh my goodness, but uh, yeah, here we are. Suddenly seeing a brand new thing. Now, thankfully they have stated that this is a brand new storyline, so I don't need the prior knowledge of the first five armored cores or the first like 15 armored cores, because apparently this genre has a crap ton of spinoffs. And it is going to be very interesting to see from software going back to the roots, because yeah, before they were famous with the Souls series, you know, Demon Souls, Dark Souls and the like, they made Kingsfield, which basically became the Souls games, and they made Armored Core. So, let's see if they've learned anything in those years since. I hope this is amazing. I really do. Oh, ah! I, sure, fine. I'll take the end user. I'll take the privacy. Yes, you can have my data. I don't really care enough. Probably not going to be playing online anyway. <laughs> now, I am playing on the PlayStation 5 for this. It, it's easier that way for me, honestly. That way I can keep my setup the same between this and 16. Uh, yes, I know online multiplayer exists. I know not to be a jackass to it. That's perfectly fine. Uh, what do we got? Just want to make sure nothing's stupid. We do want to make sure subtitles are on. That's important. Uh, don't need HDR. Uh, yeah, well, performance settings would like to prioritize quality in order to enable ray tracing. Oh, I see. Uh, I think I'd rather have the frame rate, to be honest. Especially since ray tracing only applies to the garage. It doesn't seem all that important. <laughs> uh, let us bump up the voice volume just a hair, because I know this is always an issue in games that the voices are just too bloody quiet uh, so if it's off at all let me know and i'll try to fix it before the next couple episodes go out hmm. what do we got here for controls weapons are all on the shoulder buttons repair kit is up purge weapon options scan is down movement assault boost is left click target assist is right click Jump is X, boost is circle, quick boost is square. I'm guessing quick boost is dodge. Hmm. All right, let's get this started. Uh, I'm gonna leave the brightness as is. I know freaking YouTube's gonna squash this and make it hard to see. Already done the volume adjustments. Max making region, global, voice chat, don't care. Display player names, pilot name is fine. Oh, enter a pilot name. Well, clearly there's only one name acceptable. <laughs> I am Dekumon, now and forever. We're close to Rubicon. Wake the dog up. Jeez. Handler Walter verified. Activating cerebral coral control device. Now, beyond the trailers, and I think... Human, oh, sorry. C4621 <laughs> has awakened. Uh, beyond the trailers and, like, one gameplay demo that I saw online, I don't know very much about this game, so I'm very interested to see how this is going to play. <laughs> like, I... Power oh. down your entry capsule on my signal. God dang it, Walter. I know Walter is my handler, and I am technically 621. Beyond that, I, I'm i going into this pretty much as blind as I can. AC, dude, I don't know. I don't know if there's enough air conditioning in the world to, uh... Oh. What the hell? Oh, I think I just pissed off the planetary defenses. Brakes, man, brakes. There we go. Re entry's a bitch. Whew, that's a little loud. 
Oh, and there she is, my mech. Dang, that's a hole. This sucker does not land soft, that's for sure. And again, these things are probably several tons. To ISB two two six two, Rubicon three, complete. Your position is grid one three five. Did I superhero landing? Yes, I did. Off target, but with impermissible range. There's a catapult ahead. Use it to close the gap. Dude, look at this. It's gorgeous. Main system activating combat mode. Ah. Uh, ooh, I am already half health. All right, let's get let's get used to the controls here. Movement is very simple. Camera. Okay, camera's important because that's basically we aim where we aim where we want. I've got jump. Oh, I can hover. Ooh, hovering. I like the hovering. Whoa, that's uh, that's a haul ass button there. So if I press circle, I go into this kind of sliding system, and this is, this is really, this is kind of fluid looking. Oh, and then I can press square to dodge, basically. And the dodging eats a meter. But apparently sliding around doesn't eat meter, which is really good. And then I can turn it off by pressing circle again. Cool. All right, where am I going, game? I'm going up. Oh, E in consumption. Some actions consume energy and are disabled while energy is depleted. Energy replenishes rapidly when grounded. Yeah, I noticed that. Thank you. Rapidly is right. Dang. Whew. Oh, targeting controls. The reticule automatically targets on screen enemies. Uh, when there are multiple enemies, the enemy closest to the center will be prioritized. Move the camera to change priority target. Clear out those guard mechs. Guard mechs. Perfect chance to test your AC. R2 rapid fire right hand weapon? Alright. I haven't seen that rapid fire. Woo -hoo, look at me go, baby! Come here! Oh, oh it's reloading, it's reloading! <laughs> Man, oh, that is awesome. Target assist. Target assist keeps your AC oriented towards the target. When enabled, your AC will automatically lock its orientation towards enemies as you approach them. You can still use the camera to change targets while in target assist mode. Oh, I have a lock on. Ow, you bitch, you hit me. Oh, multi-lock. The missile launcher equipped to the right shoulder is capable of multi-lock, which allows you to attack multiple enemies simultaneously by holding down the input. I see. Don't think I did too well there. There they go. <laughs> Oh, you dick! I'm taking more damage than I would like. Whoa, that's the that's the the haul ass button. If I click the left stick, that's for sure. Oh, <laughs> repair kits. Use repair kits to repair your armored core and recover armor points. Repair kits can be used up to three times per mission, but cannot be used in rapid succession. Ah, they're my Estus flasks. Done and done. Some contaminated city down there. That's where you're landing. Oh. Access the catapult. That's a that's a pleasant looking place, Walter. Are we sure we want to go there? Connecting, connecting. Why Wi-Fi terrible here? Uh, oh, we're gonna get us a full-on Gundam launch here. <laughs> Ooh, that's not a bad idea. I, I, from what I've heard from the trailers, the music in this game is okay. 
But I don't know if I really want to use it for an end card. But, uh... Grabbing some mecha anime openings and endings. That might not be a bad call there. If we get our hands on Rubicon's coral, we'll make a killing. Plenty for a merc with a fried brain like you to buy their life back. Hey, man! That's insulting! Or worse, did you do it to me, huh? Are you the one to fried my brain, Walter? <laughs> oh. Okay. We're illegals here. You'll need ID to operate. Oh. Is that why the planetary defense system got so, you know, salty when we came in? Oh. Quick boost. Quick boost lets you instantly accelerate in any direction, helping to evade attacks or close in on enemies. Freaking melee weapon on my L2. Yep, look at that. That's awesome. Oh. I I see, I see, I see. The meters around my little target reticule. Uh the big one on the left is for my blade, the big one on the right is for my machine gun, and the little one on the right is my shoulder-mounted missile pods. Use Assault Boost to move rapidly in a direction that the camera is facing, or to rapidly approach targets. I'm picking up signals from AC Rex. Hmm? Oh. Follow the markers. Got multiple targets. That's awesome. Fly! <laughs> Unaware. Oh. Did you hear anything about what the corps are up to? Be it snicky. Yeah, coming soon. Got us on the run. Hello. We're being attacked. Unidentified AC. Return fire. Oh jeez, I. Know. <laughs> Dude, this thing is maneuverable. Look at this thing. It just wants to go. This thing just wants to freaking go like it's out of style. Dude, that is far. Ow, somebody's taking shots at me. Hey! Oh, hi. Sir, ask you not to shoot missiles at me, I will shoot missiles at you! God damn, this thing handles like a frickin' beast. I got little ones everywhere. Uh, stop with that, please. Need to recover. Thank you. Ah, little frickin' things here are irritating me. Man, little drones are irritating, man. My cannon's not good enough to take them down. There we go. We good? Wait, is that an independent? Probably. I have no idea. I assume I qualify as an independent. This is, this is gonna take some serious getting used to. Not to mention the fact that I keep clicking my sticks by mistake. 
Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> ah, my energy. Oh. You were done installing? You rat game. You've been sitting on the freaking console for almost a day. What gives? Yeah, I know, Tina Mercenary lost I'm working on it. Precision movement is a bit of a bitch. Extract the pilot data. I'll analyze it from my end. <sighs> so we're basically trying to filch a pilot license off a dead pilot. Wow. License code extracted from an AC wreck in the contaminated city. Registration number RB37. Call sign Monkey Gordo. <laughs> Affiliation independent. License expires in 15 days. Oof. It's still valid, but the pilot's rank is no good. We can't use this. Oh, the rank date is corrupted. The next wreck. That's disappointing. Look at that. That's the way it's supposed to be done. Flight shoulder ammunition at 50%. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be honest, that blade is super satisfying. Oh, hello. What? Yeah, I think that's my thought. That's the PCA's planet side force. Keep a low profile. We don't want them breathing down our necks. There's a giant helicopter of doom shooting at these guys now, too. Oh, well, so much for this being simple. Uh-oh. Somebody had a lock on me for half a second. It's not. Uh, what do we got? Registration number RB29, call sign G7 Hacker. His rank is good. Affiliation Balam Industries. License expires in 12 hours. Corp license, easily traced. Forget it. Oh. Can't use it because it's a corp license. Uh, I need to go up and over here. Um, we want to land, please. Fly, my giant robot, fly. Oh, hi. Find out who they're working for. Looks like they've got shields. Good thing you've got a blade. Oh. Ah. So sword trump shield in this case. Awesome. Let's right. see about this license. Hang on, man. The Wi-Fi around here isn't that good. What do we got from you? Registration number RB18, call sign Thomas Kirk, rank 26E, affiliation independent, license expired. Pooh. This one's already expired. Well, shoot, didn't find a single license worth a damn. Transmitting marker. Go and check it out. Yeah, where is this one? Oh. Way the heck over here at the north. Hang on, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! <laughs> this assault boost thing is a blast. Hold on. I saw something. Ah, my gun's reloading. Doesn't look like, oh, vertical catapult. While standing on a vertical catapult, perform a jump to reach higher places. That's really cool. That vertical catapult to get some altitude. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Yeah, I can. That's it. Try accessing the wreck. Ah, I see. If I press left or right on the stick while I'm in that assault boost, I do the little side slide. All right, well, the others all sucked. This one's probably gonna be good for something. Hmm. I didn't bring up a thing. Registration number RB23. Rank fits the bill. Call sign. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. What? Looks like they were on to you after all. Oh, God. I know who to pick a fight with the PCA. But it doesn't matter. Take it out now, they won't have enough to ID you. Ah, uh, this is not good. Why? Why am 
Why, man? Why? Why are we fighting the giant death helicopter? This seems unnecessarily stupid. Ah, my life bar is not happy with me. Yeah, I see that. Oh, he's outside the combat zone, you little bitch! Almost got a stagger, though. Ow. Ah, he staggered me! Oh. Oh, you little bitch. Oh, yeah. The stagger is definitely the way to do it. Stay in your blind spot, buddy. I'm trying, I'm trying. I gotta wait for my freaking guns to reheat. Come on. AP at 50%. AP at 30%. Yeah, okay. Blind dashing at him is stupid then. Okay, we don't do that no more. Like children at 10%. Oh god! Uh, that's not good. Where is he? You know, the worst part is I have no way to replenish my ammo, I just realized. What happens if I run out, huh? Oh, he got out of the arena again. I can't use my blade on him. Of course it is. Oh god, no, he got me. God damn. Dude, what the hell? I lost to the first boss? <laughs> well, it wouldn't be a Souls mission game if I didn't lose to the first boss. That's it. Oh. Try accessing the wreck. On the plus side, I do get a very, very generous checkpoint. <sighs> Alright, well. My repair kits are all refilled, my ammo's refilled. We should be much better off now. Registration number RB23. Oh, I need to not be clicking that constantly. Call sign. What? Looks like they were on to you after all. I know you to pick a fight with the PCA. But it doesn't matter. Faded my missiles. That's what's messing me up. Come on, guys. I need that stagger. You've got them now. Make it count six two one. Oh, I'm trying. Bitches went outside the area. I can't sh freaking hit him with the blades.
percent. He staggered me again. Jesus Christ, <sighs> There is just too much to freaking look at here. I can't get under him. He's hiding outside the arena again. That sucked. That's all for our work here today, 621. Oh, really? Here's the call sign from that license you picked up. Ah, here we are. Registration RB23, call sign Raven. Ah, rank F. Affiliation independent, license expires in three days. Raven. That's your new name here on Rubicon. God dang. Dude, he wrecked me. Uh, base pay 170k, repair costs, ammo costs, penalty. It's terrible, I'm guessing. Cool. Anyway. A sublime substance. Hmm? Discovered on Rubicon, a planet on the frontier of developed space. For a time, coal was a revolutionary energy resource and data conduit, hmm. poised to transform human society by leaps and bounds. They called it the Fires of Ibis, a storm of flame that tore through the stars, leaving lethal contamination in its wake. Oh. Coral, the kindling, was thought to have been utterly consumed, forever lost. So Coral caused this giant worldwide disaster. On Rubicon, the embers continued to burn. Humanity would inevitably return to stoke the fire. <laughs> Gee, such a deadpan delivery there. Ah, there she is. My beautiful little AC getting fixed up. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Authentication complete. Removing MIA status. Restoring <laughs> access privileges. Hunter class nil arena rank this F. Is All Might, the mercenary support system. Welcome back, Raven. <laughs> Sorry, old Raven. I just, you know, assume his life now. Looks like you passed the authentication. I've picked up some oh. work for you already. Take a look, 621. It auto advances. Son of a bitch, I missed a line. This notification follows restoral of access privileges. Right, not pushing next. All Mind provides a combat training simulator to support its mercenaries. <laughs> Your license was in a suspended state. Perhaps you may need a refresher. Eh. As an added incentive, completion of the exercises will be rewarded with AC parts. Oh, okay. No, never mind. We're you doing that now. to benefit regardless. Uh, parts are important. Access granted sortie. The following features now available. Sortie. AC design. Emblem acquired. Oh. AC data acquired. Tenderfoot. New part. Got a new head. Some new core. Some new arms. I'm guessing these are the pieces I started with. Huh. Uh, well, might as well do a quick spin through the assembly system. Customizing AC assemblies using the parts you have available while assembling the AC. Ensure that your build keeps within the maximum weight and energy load parameters. Awesome. Uh, what I really need is something on my back. I have nothing I can put on my back. I see. Uh, so here's my new head. It gives me a bit more health and attitude, but my recovery goes down a little bit. Uh, weight and energy load are fine. As I'm guessing as long as I keep under those totals, I don't have to worry about anything. I'll take the new head. Oh, 
Hardware engineer. I got a trophy for this, huh? Uh, again, it doesn't really seem to hurt me that much. Gives me a little more defense, but I definitely could use. And I got a new set of legs. Oh. Dude, those... Those legs are ugly. Those legs are really ugly. Hmm. I like the current ones better, I'm gonna be honest. I do like those arms, though. I know, I know. I, I, I'm gonna be pushing weight here. That's gonna be my fun thing. Uh, oh, we can play with the paints. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to imagine I'm spending a lot of time between episodes messing around in this garage. Oh my goodness, there is so much customization here. Look at this! Oh! Oh, I can go all freaking in. Look at these color schemes, user. Oh, those are mine. Corporate. <laughs> uh, ooh, I kind of like this. It's kind of like a desert theme. We'll stick with this for right now. I could put on decals, create images for use as decals. Ugh. Oh, oh, thank goodness there's loadouts. Oh, thank goodness there are loadouts. Oh, goodness gracious, yes. If there were not loadouts, I would be very disappointed in this game. I really would. Alright, uh, let's do the training now, actually. Learn to pilot an AC and master fundamental battle techniques from the training menu! Complete the exercises using the training AC to earn standardized training parts used for instruction. Might as well get through these because, you know, I need the parts. Let's be honest, I need the parts. If nothing else, if I can get a fourth weapon, one for my shoulder. Lock on! R2 to rapid fire. To land shots of moving enemies, you must pull the trigger while they're within the lock on range where the target tracking is active. Oh wow, that is rapid fire. Yeah. If they're too far away, it doesn't actually hit them. Reloading. Oh, there is a manual reload. Oh, thank you. Weapons with magazines will automatically reload when depleted. Manually reload before engaging to minimize the risk. So triangle and weapon is the manual reload. That's what I wanted to find. That's what I was trying to find earlier was the manual reload. Missile locked. Use missiles and other homing rounds. Keep the enemy on screen until the lock on completes. Some missiles are capable of multi-lock, which allows you to attack multiple weapons simultaneously by holding the input. And triangle will cancel it. Okay. There we go. And that one doesn't really reload because it just fires the whole wad at once. Now for melee. Melee weapons equipped to the left hand require a risky close range of posts but have high attack power and impact and are useful for destroying shields. And it's a charge attack? Cool down, please. There is a bit of homing towards that. Because I it is kind of magnetizing. Ow. Dick. Whoa. Sir, I did not click that. <laughs> shield, 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 fuck you. <laughs> Wait, we have a scanner? You can detect nearby enemies or containers that hold AC parts. Containers that hold AC parts. There are treasure chests on the field. Oh. Any objects that were detected by the scan will be temporarily highlighted. If an enemy is detected, you'll be able to achieve lock on even through walls and cover. 
Oh, hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Could have gone a lot worse. Oh, simulation over. I got a new machine gun. Ah, are there more trainings, or is that the only one? Oh, I see. It's the only one I have at the moment. I can replay missions. Really? That's handy, actually. Hmm. Oh, do I do another mission? Yeah, we have time for another mission. Check incoming jobs and sortie on missions from the missions menu. Complete missions to progress the story. So what do we got here? Destroy artillery installations for 100k. Uh, grid 135 cleanup. Eliminate enemy squads. Mop up Dafeng MT. Okay, I know AT AC stands for Armored Core. What does MT stand for? Uh, extra rewards based on number of enemies destroyed. Yeah, let's do the easier one first for right now. Oh, I'm gonna get me a briefing? Got a job for you, 621. It's an open call from the Archibus Group, one of the extraplanetary corporate forces. To all independent mercenaries, this request comes from Schneider of the Archibus Group. The operation will take place in grid 135, Southern Bellius. Your objective is to destroy an MT squad sent by Dafung, a Balaam company, and a competitor. Grid 135 is a key foothold in Archibus's efforts to conduct a coral survey in the contaminated city. You, the independent mercenaries, are the key to maintaining our lead in the coral survey race. The Archibus group looks forward to news of your success. Ah, so we gotta get in Briefing good with the corporations. Happy hunting. To eventually get their hands on the coral ourselves. <laughs> All right, uh, and I can just go immediately into <laughs> into the garage from here. All right, let's clean the house. You've got ID. Now you need a rep. Get their attention, six two one. And don't die like you did last time. It's embarrassing. Main system. Activating combat mode. <laughs> when they say that, it reminds me of uh, Crisis Core. Activating combat mode. Got the Dafung MT squad. Ooh, there, Hoss. Slow down. S level two. I wonder what that means. Enemy attack. What I see. Looks like the Archivus group hired some muscle. An independent mercenary, huh? At least they didn't send the Vespers. Intercepting! Oh, I see. Wipe them out, 621. So, anyone gonna actually explain what an MT stands for, or am I just gonna have to guess? Trying to leave the combat zone here. Hang on. This AC pilot shark. Focus your fire. I keep clicking that by mistake, and it's irritating me. That mercy turned through us. Jamming. Archimus really scored this time. Only a few targets left. This is easy. I thought this mission would actually be difficult, but no, it's clearly not. Hmm. Got one over there still. Alright, he's toast. One, wait. I'm picking up new enemy signatures. New enemy signatures. Looks like reinforcements. Eliminate them. Went a little low there. Oh, dang it, I can't get under 
this thing? Oh, that's not good. Uh, yep. <laughs> Outside of combat zone. Ah, <laughs> oh, dick. to recharge. I broke your shield, buddy. Two repair kits remaining. All right, just just the crew over here, huh? I know. Commander Michigan. <laughs> I was looking around seeing if there was any loot or anything, man. Mission complete. Wow, that was a short one. Huh. Not too bad. Some minor expenses. Could have been far worse. Hmm? One new message. Yes. This is a notification from All Mind, the mercenary support system. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Your return to mercenary activities has been acknowledged. Restoring access to the parts shop. Oh. Oh. The parts shop, you say? Oh. New exercise data. Uh, sweet. Uh, let's do the training mission first. Combat fundamentals. Um, because we do want to do these. doing these basically as they come up because they keep giving me new toys. Uh, some weapons are capable of charge attacks, which exhibit different properties. Hold the charge. Cancel charge. Okay. It's a rail gun. It's a friggin' rail gun. Oh. Oh, I have to stop moving. Oh. ACS, strain, and stagger. The attitude control system of a craft can be compromised by accumulated strain from the impact of repeated attacks. ACS overload results in a vulnerable state called stagger, during which time the afflicted craft will be immobilized and susceptible to critical damage. Oh, direct hits. During stagger, all incoming attacks are treated as direct hits and deal much more damage. Stop flying, dude, dude, you, you, we gotta stop this here. Dude, the real gun is awesome. ACS accumulative strain. ACS strain inflicted on enemies resets after a brief interval, but a portion of that strain will remain. Weapons vary in the amount of strain they inflict, with explosive impacts generally leaving the most. Sniper here. Surprise attacks! Attacks on enemies that are unaware will inflict greater ACS strain than usual. Oh, that's why we have that. So when someone's unaware, they literally can just be critted and taken out pretty easily. Shield defense. Shields on the left shoulder can be deployed to reduce incoming damage. Oh, I have a shield? Nope. Come on, dude. 
That's not bad. Hmm. What about the big guy here? What are you gonna teach me for him? Oh, attack indicators and initial guard. Shield output is maximized for the first two seconds after deployment. Blocking during this initial guard can help minimize incoming. Oh, it's a perfect guard? Oh. Don't think that was good enough. Okay, so that's 338 there. Come on. That was 215. Okay, yeah, it, it is better. Oh, but he staggered me. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, wow, he is. Oh, I see. Heavy armor in the front, nothing in the back. Oh, assault boost attacks. During assault boost rush attacks, small arms that can be used will inflict greater impact and impact you receive will be reduced. Oh, really? All oh, right, can't charge attack. Oh, I also get the benefit of being able to actually ram into them. Hmm. There we go. Takes care of that training mission. Is that gonna give me the shield that I just had? I would love a shield. Oh, no, I get the linear rifle. All right, I need a new shoulder piece. Purchase AC parts sold from various corporations and factions from the buy menu. More parts will be available for purchase as you progress through the story or meet certain conditions. Ah. Oh, I see. Only certain things can be on each arm. That's interesting. Okay, so I want a left back unit. So I can have a shield, another missile launcher, or a dual missile launcher, which I cannot afford. Uh, we'll take the shield for right now. And let's, uh, let's put that on. Okay, so that's where I was, that's where I am. This way, at least I have something on my left shoulder. I felt kind of naked not having a full set up there, I'll be honest. Oh, uh, you know what? I think this is good for now. I think we'll leave this as a slightly shorter video just to see how everything goes. Um, I'm in love with this. This is gonna be one of those games that just sticks with me, isn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous. It's amazing. I know, I've been a big Gundam geek ever since I was a kid. I love mechs. So this just, it, 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 uh, it scratches an itch. I didn't know I even had. <laughs> anyway, if you've enjoyed this, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe to join me for more giant robot action. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.